everyone and welcome to day four of our series of The Giving Tree. Michelle <laughs> Silverstein. And as you can see, the dragon babies are still with me. Hello. We're back. Okay. Yes, you are back. Okay. Let's go to the next part of the book. Oh, you're gonna get mad. I am sure. Okay. <laughs> That's because right. when we promising. What we left off uh, from yesterday was that the tree gave away its branches, branches to build a house. A house. <laughs> right. So again, the boy did not come back for so many years, right? We're already angry. We're just gonna <laughs> get more mad. Okay, and when he came back, the tree said, Come boy, climb. You know, usual yeah. conversation. Climb my trunk, play with my branches, swing from the tree, you know. And the boy says, Give me more. <laughs> exactly. But the boy <laughs> says, I'm now he says, I'm too old. I'm too busy. I have no time. And I'm too sad to play. He's sad? Yeah. Where does that come from? But, so I want to go and I want a boat mm. to sail away. From my problems. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say if it were problems. And the tree said, well, I don't have a boat. But what you can do is to cut my trunk and build yourself a boat. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the boy did that, and I'll show it to you. Did he say thank you for anything? Ever? Yeah, like Oh, ever. no. And see? So the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And this is what the tree looks now. No. 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 You want to make it closer, Ada, to the camera you see that <laughs> it's now it's not only fun. a stump a sad one a sad, sad stump and the tree was happy but not really it's becoming self-aware <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is going on now what do you think is going on with the with the tree how is the tree now Mary? well it's still the tree is still giving yeah to the boy but it's like becoming aware that there's nothing coming back to him. Ah. Wait, he's not even saying thank you. He just takes it and walks away. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay. <laughs> right. And at this point, the tree, although was still happy, now realizes, hey, something's really wrong. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. How do you think... I, I like what you said about and the boy not even saying thank you. This is what we call having an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Because you know that we need help. We're, we're not an island, right? We do need other people's help. And when we get that help, so what do we say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of the five magic words. When you were kids, remember? I taught you what are the five magic words. Thank you. Please. 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 What else? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Hi. You're welcome. I, <laughs> I think the part excuse was me? Is ex no, that's right. Excuse me. Because nice one, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and I forgot the fifth. Nice one, mother. Maybe it's just I love Wait. you, but that's oh. fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, but anyway, it's having an attitude of gratitude. So let me ask you this. What are the Maybe what is the thing that you are thankful for? Like top of mind. Mary, what's what's one thing you're thankful for? Whether you got it from Ate, you got it from me or dad or whoever, your teacher. What, what do you think you're grateful? What do you think you're grateful for? Well, for me, I'm grateful for getting into a good education mm -hmm. and thriving in subjects. <laughs> right, right. That has made you become a better person. And who do you thank for? I, how do you, who do you who thank do you think? for that? That's what yes. I mean. Who do you thank for that? Well, I thank a lot of people. Uh -huh. Like you guys for helping me go through. Yes. And getting me into Southville. Yeah. And teachers who have been helping me with subjects. That's true. We don't thank teachers enough. No? 
Yeah. So shout out to all the teachers, especially the children, the teachers of this school. <laughs> Help them a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. What about you, Ate? For me, it's, what are also, you grateful it's for? also education because I have the firm belief that a good education makes a great person. And education doesn't necessarily just mean school or exclusively mean school. It also relates to how you brought us up when we were children. That's also kind of education, right? Yeah, because parents are like teachers. Yeah, they're too, like no? your we, first teachers. We, we are teachers of life. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I'm very grateful for, you know, the education both in school and the things you and dad teach me at home. And because of that, I think that I have a very good foundation in life. So, you know, eventually when I graduate and, you know, eventually when I leave the house or I leave you guys. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, I think well. I'm pretty much set for life, you know. So, thank you. Ah, you're welcome. I One got of the magic. You. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. What are you thankful for today, my dear viewers? And who do we thank for all these blessings that we have? I know everybody thanks the big boss up there, and we all <laughs> should, because everything comes from him. But what my challenge is for you today is to list down five things you are really grateful for. And across those things, who are you thanking them for? It's going to be uh, an epic ending for tomorrow for this book. So, hang on and stay tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah.